Hello ladies and gentlemen, and this is the flip side after another unintentionally long hiatus. The reason for that, I'll get into it while I play. So, um, first, I want to explain why I haven't been doing Mother. That's for a very good reason. Same reason I haven't uploaded Five Nights at Freddy's. So, uh, I have been, uh, well, af immediately after the last video, I went on a vacation upstate, which, for those of you who don't know, is about a two and a half hour drive north of Brooklyn, where I live. And, uh, it's been really cool. I'm already dead. <laughs> really? Foxy killed me? Anyways, so I was there until a couple of days before New Year's Eve. And, uh, let's see. And obviously, I spent New Year's Eve with my family, and now, happy 2015, the year this game was supposed to come out. Uh, I've been playing the hell out of it when I was upstate, but I couldn't uh, upload anything because uh, their internet wasn't the best. And that's the same reason I haven't been doing Mother 3, which I will get back to very soon. But I have a couple of other things I need to take care of first. So, this will be going up tonight, the day I'm recording it, January 1st. Might be a little late though, depending on our time zone. Anyways, uh, the problem is though, I, A, haven't played in a while, so I'm a bit rusty. And B, um, I just want you to know something. I'm not... Uh, I don't want to be like a normal let's player. What I want to do is each time I finish a game, I'm going to uh, go look at something uh, in a way that people have never thought of it before. Sort of like my own little game theory. And after thinking for a while, I think I've come up with a pretty damn good theory about what's going on during this game. And the first game. It's a combination of a theory by Matthew Patrick, one of my role models, and a theory by uh, another guy, I can't quite remember the name uh, off the top of my head, but I will credit him later. And I added in uh, my own little touches here and there to fill in any gaps and add some other stuff in, taking other stuff out, to make one consistent plot. And I'm going to call it just my ultimate theory on the game. And I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, obviously, we don't know anything until Scott Cotton confirms it. And from what I understand, he's already announced Five Nights at Freddy's 3. And when that comes out, he's probably going to go ahead and take everything I'm about to say and prove it completely wrong. But that's not the point. My point is just to give you guys a perspective of this game that you might not have seen it from before. And honestly, I think it makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that actually was what's going on during Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2. It's frankly, uh, I don't mean to brag, but it took a long time to make it. And it turned out really good in my opinion. So, yeah, that's something to look out for. It's gonna be after I beat Golden Freddy mode. And another thing, I also have a lot of footage of me failing Golden Freddy mode that I plan on putting up. In fact, I once made it to 4 a.m. on a recording. 4 a.m. And guess who's the motherfucker that ruined that ride? Guess. This. Little. <clears throat> I hate it so much. As far as I'm concerned, it can go. It can go. 
You know what do robots do when they die? Well, Android Hell is a real place, so... Maybe that. Yeah. You're going to Android Hell, Toy Bonnie. And there are so many cheap debts. And I swear, I, you have no idea how much I want to take care of Toy Bonnie personally. But to give you an idea what was going on, you see this red triangle here? That, with Toy Bonnie right in this vent. That happens a lot. But for that to happen at 4 a.m., can go <laughs> to Android Hell. It's really stupid. Also, I just want you to know that I actually uh, purchased the first Five Nights at Freddy's game just today, actually. What? The Steam Holiday Sale got the better of me. I mean, it was only three bucks. And I guess I should play it. So yeah. After that, I, after Golden Freddy mode, I might go back to the first game. But from what I've played so far, the first game is unbelievably goddamn easy. Like, really goddamn easy. On my first try, I made it to night four. I was just playing the game to see what I should expect in terms of difficulty. And I got to night five before I died once. And I made it to like 5 a.m. on night five. Is it? Am I missing something? Because people keep telling me that that's a hard game. I mean, I'm sure, granted, Night 6 is definitely going to be a real pain in my ass. And I know 2020 20, 20 mode is also going to be uh, really hard. Because, like, the whole big bug strategy has its flaws. But the first four nights, at least, are a breeze. In fact, it wasn't until the only reason I died on night 5 is because I tried to do the big bug strategy, but I failed horribly and let Freddy sneak in. Yeah, anyways, um, so, I'm gonna see how far I can get here. I want to give it two more attempts since I already tried this once. And you saw the result of that. I'm not gonna talk this time though, so I might be better. He's probably in the hallway. Yep. Oh, Toy Bonnie. Three, four, five.
You saw that. I know you did. You watched this video, and if you didn't see that, somehow, rewind the video. They should play elevator music during these loading screens. But those loading screens take forever, man. can go you know you know there's a rumor going that uh, they might out they might outlaw balloons within the next 30 years because helium is suddenly a very valuable resource that we're very short on in other words soon balloon boy shall be no more I mean the advertisement for five nights of Friday Street says 30 years later now that's probably 30 years from 20, uh, 1987 or 1992 or whatever, but I just hope that it's 30 years from 2015. Because I, I, cause I know they scrapped Balloon Boy at the end of this game, but guess what? What if he comes back with a new design? What if they bring back all the toy animatronics in 2045? In that case, he better not be there because they will have, like, balloons shall be outlawed. Hopefully. Ruining every child birthday party in all of existence. Can I get into night eight? Let me in. Yeah, before I was saying night seven for some reason. Now, now it's night eight. If it's supposed to. You know, I don't think it's a glitch. I think it is an Easter egg. Cause why else would they program it in? Like, why would there be a line of text that reads night? Eight, if there's no intention for a night eight. I mean, I guess it could be like along the lines of missing now, where a couple of values are mixed up. But that has nothing to do with this, and you know it. Anyways, I've been recording for about 15 minutes, so I think I'll end it here. So, next time on the flip side, which is probably going to be a damn long time from now, I'm going to be cool in Freddy mode. Yeah. And, uh, but I guess in the meantime, I'll have another Mother 3 up by January 3rd at the latest. I don't break my promises. Except for the two times in the past that I have.
Don't forget about that. Alright, well, see you on the flip side.